F1 cars will undergo another overhaul for the 2026 season. Sky F1 pundit Karun Chanhok has dubbed news of a revamp to the 2026 F1 regulations as worrying and taken aim at the FIA. After a number of teams reportedly voiced concerns over the simulator running of the proposed vehicles, Authorities have set about changes in a bid to increase car performance. Chandhok, who himself competed in F1 for the likes of Force India and Lotus, responded on social media to reports that plans to cars were to be amended to accommodate new turbo hybrid engines that followed the FIA visiting car factories subsequently deciding that the 2026 aero plan will need to incorporate both the front and rear wing moving in conjunction with each other if the cars are going to deliver the performance characteristics hoped for. The 40-year-old argued that the regulations were only being made to appease the likes of Audi and Honda, who will both be in F1 in 2026 to supply engines to Sauber and Alpine respectively. Worrying news on 2026 rules. He wrote on X, As far as I can recall, this is the first time ever that the engine rules seem to dictate the chassis rules in F1. Done to entice Audi and Honda. It's too late to change the power unit rules now so what do they do? Movable aero. DRS is bad for overtaking. Back in 2019. F1 announced ambitious plans top B net zero carbon by 2030 as part of a sustainability strategy. But Chanhok also accused the FIA of missing an opportunity to promote a more environmentally friendly sport. For the past few years I've been saying that I wished 2026 would go to a V10, non-hybrid car on sustainable fuels, he added. Smaller, lighter, noisier more challenging cars. Road car companies are investing in ICE programs again. FIA seems to have missed the boat with F1 in my opinion. The sport has undergone an overhaul of rules since 2021, with new regulations introduced the following season, designed to make racing more competitive. As well as budget restrictions, legislation was brought in on car floors, front and rear wings, and tires. However, the sport's new era has failed to produce close competition in terms of the, the title races. Max Verstappen has cruised to two consecutive F1 world titles, last year with a margin of 290 points from teammate Sergio Perez, with Red Bull also picking up the constructors' crowns at a canter. And the 2024 campaign has begun in much the same vein. Verstappen has prevailed in three of the four Grand Prix events so far, and again leads the championship from his Mexican partner.